everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to share a technique that I thought of back in 2020 to add to my 365 cup and 30 day project. It is using compressed air and underglaze and I hope you enjoy. This is what I thought of as I woke up this morning. I thought, wouldn't that be fun if I just took these glazes and put them on the cups and use the compressed air to move the underglaze instead of a brush or another object to blend them together as well as create different designs. You know I love abstract art, so it'll work out perfect. Okay, after playing a around with it a little bit, um, I realized that this has to be a little more wet when you apply it. So I'm gonna do red, usually you hold a cup like this. And so what, how about three? All right, I'm gonna do, oh, I got flowers. I'm gonna do red in the center. I'm gonna do this quickly too. Oh, Mr. Fly, go away. Hello, welcome to my world. Okay, and then I wanna put white in the center. Just gonna scoop it up and drop it in the center. And then, let's just see what happens if I give it a blast, real hard blast. Huh. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Try it again. Let's see how wet it is so that it doesn't get, um, doesn't soak in too quickly. Any more white. Uh-oh. It's too wet. Yikes! Oh well. Maybe I'll just do two. What do you think? Kind of fun, a little messy, because you don't know where it's gonna go. Should I touch that? <gasps> yes or no, yes or no. Ah, I should have left it. Now what you're seeing is the underglaze going on the bisque wear. And what I learned a couple different lessons was the thickness of the underglaze will matter. Um, and the thickness that you spray it to also matters because if it's too thin, it'll burn out at a cone six. If you're going low fire, the burnout rate is far less. I think this technique can be used for a lot of different things. You can use it as a background. You can make your background and underglaze a certain way and then do your designs on top of it. Or you can use that as the main design and use fine liners to go around it and to create more designs. I mean, it's pretty versatile. Here are some of the results that I got. Uh, a lot of them I liked, a lot of them I didn't, but it really taught me how to use the underglaze in this way. I'm gonna be searching the archives some more and finding some more techniques that are lost that need to see the light of day. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. <laughs>